So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be starting off with more of Flexbox things, right? So at this point, what I want to do is I want to introduce you to Chrome um, Dev Tools Inspector as well because it's pretty handy in seeing that how the layouts are organized and everything and you should pretty much get used to it as well. So how do you do that? For CodeDamp platform, what you can do is just go ahead and right click on this white space and click on inspect move it down maybe something like here right and let me just zoom inside this inspector as well and always stay inside this iframe thing right just remember it for now you when you highlight over this you're going to see that it highlights in blue and always just go ahead and stay inside this iframe thing because if you go above that you're actually inspecting the code dams actual source code right which might not be very useful to you because um you know it, it's just built that way that it won't be really useful for you to see what's going on but anyway if you want to just mess around the side you can just go ahead and do that but i won't really recommend going into that so we're going to stick inside this iframe only this iframe sandbox thing and what you're going to take a look at you can see right here when i hover over every of these elements we get an associated uh, width an associated height and a little orangish border kind of thing which shows us the margin around that, right? So you can see clearly the width right now of each div is 40.56 pixels and not 100. Now, why is that? Well, Flexbox by default, what it will do is that it will allow, it will try to compactly pack everything inside the parent itself, right? Inside the parent itself in a single row or in a single stack. Ha now, what, what if I really want this to have width of 100 pixel and just allow the items to overflow into the next line if possible? Well, you can do that. You can just go to row and just say um, flex wrap is a property and there are a bunch of available selectors for us. So there's this no wrap, this is wrap, this is wrap reverse, this is initial, inherit and unset. These three are not really useful, but the first three uh, are really useful so no wrap is the property which is set by default which means that you know just go ahead and squish all the divs in a single row or a single stack whatever wrap means that hey i want to make sure that these things are respected width and heights and you know just go ahead and display it um, in the different rows why not right wrap reverse is a similar thing but it will start um by actually reversing the whole layout itself. You can clearly see how it works. If I write wrap here, we have a single row, right? And then the last two divs. But if I try to write wrap reverse here, we have two divs, which were the overflowing ones, and then the whole rows. So this would actually become more clear if I write numbers inside here. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so you see that wrap reverse does ten nine eight seven six five four three two one like that but wrap does it like this which is the expected order right so that's how the flex wrap property works in flex box now there's one more thing you can actually change the direction of the flex box by actually specifying the flex direction property so you can say flex direction and again the column and row properties are the two properties which are mostly used so if i go ahead and select column you're going to see it starts stacking it inside a single stack right and because browsers are built in such a way that they show scroll bar automatically when the content in exceeds their um their you know their height or whatever so yeah that's why we do not really get stacks of this, right? If I change it to row, you're gonna see we get a similar behavior, but you know, because this is the default value, you have already seen this. Row reverse is pretty much the similar thing, but you see now the things have turned. So now you can see that it's, it's kind of a mirror of row. So you can see if I have row, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12, whatever it is. But the row reverse is a mirror of that. Similarly, for the column reverse, it's the same story. It's the mirror of that, 
but on this axis on the on the x axis so as i can say so row reverse is the mirror on the y axis and the column reverse is the mirror on the x axis and it's super super convenient you can see you can create such you know dynamically changing configuration with just a bunch of, with just a single string change right so this has never been there has been never much easier way to create layouts like this before so yeah it's pretty good i guess so so yeah that's basically it that's how um flex wrap and flex direction properties work in css with flexbox so that's all for this video if you really liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one